Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012 in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo series, we had the opportunity to sit down with Martin Cup, executive director of the AFCI and his colleagues across the globe in understanding the role of international, national and regional film commissions. Let's hear what they had to say. My name is Martin Cuff and I am the executive director of an association called the Association of Film Commissioners International. And collectively we make up uh, government agencies predominantly who drive economic development from the film industry. The nature of film commissions and, and uh, film agencies that promote uh, the development of economies through film are all very different. And we're going to go through the team and discuss exactly how their film commissions are structured and the, the major roles that they play within their own communities. In Brazil and in Rio de Janeiro, the Rio de Janeiro State and City uh, Film Commission uh, is now blessed with a moment of euphoria. As many of you know, uh, we will be hosting not only the World Soccer Cup in 2014, but the uh, Olympics in 2016. So there's an enormous amount of focus on building up infrastructure. And of course, our film commission will be highlighted in order to provide the necessary services. Um, our commission is also very dedicated to making sure that economic development is expanded outside the city of Rio de Janeiro and into the municipalities and we've created a network uh, with eight so far municipalities throughout the state in order to promote those municipalities internationally as well. So the Rio de Janeiro uh, city and state as the gateway to Brazil itself is currently booming together with the Brazilian audiovisual sector in general thanks to new legislation for television specifically, and the theatrical sector as well. The Olympics is always a really um, interesting. We, we have obviously many members from around the world who have had uh, soccer World Cups, Olympics. You've got, got the double whammy of both. How, do you, how are your, you planning to encourage filming around that period? Integrating those things must be an extremely challenging task. Uh, yes, and, and fortunately we are uh, learning from the lessons of London right now as a matter of fact and thanks to our international uh, agreement between Film London and our Film Commission we are uh, receiving a type of transfer of technology uh, in order to help us prepare in Brazil for what London is actually going through right now in the next few months. Uh, we also have some other mega events that are coming up right now so it'll be kind of a trial period. We have next month the, uh, a huge ecological summit called the Rio Plus 20 event which will be a kind of a preparatory uh, experience for us as we learn how to deal with crowds and where off-limit filming and journalistic crews can um, can do their business but I believe that by the time the the World Soccer Cup rolls around we will be ready thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series 